Covering Pearl Harbor. Brought to you by Akamai Pest Solutions. More than half a century later, Pearl Harbor survivor Robert Coles returns to Hawaii to tell his side of the story. And what a story it is. KITV's Melody Gonzalez spoke with the man who went above the call of duty on that fateful day. I behaved incorrect, incorrectly during Pearl Harbor. I didn't do wrong, but I was doing what I wasn't supposed to do. Robert Coles openly admits he broke protocol on the morning of December 7, 1941. He was a radio man for the Navy, and his orders were clear. But then he saw the planes. I looked over towards, uh, towards Fort Island way, towards the, in the middle of the harbor and stuff like that. And I see, oh, 25, 30 aircraft. And I says, what the hell is this, maneuvers? When the first bombs dropped on the hangars at Fort Island, that's when Coles realized these weren't maneuvers, and he improvised. To this day, as we speak here, I cannot explain what I did next. I turned around, ran forward up the port side, and loaded number two 50 caliber machine guns all by myself. Never had been taught, that wasn't my GQ station. I swear before Almighty God that I shot at and hit the first two torpedo planes to go by the Bagley. I am not claiming to have shot any down. I shot at and hit them. It wasn't long before Coles was asked to step aside. Chief Gunner's mate Skinner comes running up to me. He says, Coles, I'll take over the gun. He shifted into a role as a plane spotter. The commanding officer, he comes out in his report. He says, Chief Gunner's mate Skinner had the presence of mind to man number 250 caliber machine gun before general quarters was sounded. That's a half truth. He had the presence of mind to relieve me. More than half a century later, Coles would never forget what he did that day. When I was scrolling on the internet and I see battle report USS Bagley, December 7th, 1941. I said, oh boy, oh boy, I'm going to be in it, you know. So I bring it up on my computer. I'm the little man that wasn't there. I don't exist. 75 years later, Coles returns to Pearl Harbor for the first time since the end of World War II. Aloha, aloha. Coles was one of the handful of survivors who had loved ones organize a GoFundMe account to cover the trip's expenses, raising more than $13,000. I, I couldn't believe it. I really did. I, it, as I said, it, it moistened my eyes. Everything of that greatest generation spirit. But to me, it's like walking into a history book and having to talk to me. Sharing his story with all who stopped to listen. I used to tell people I skated through World War II. No, no, I sailed through World War II. His 30-year Navy career earned him 17 battle stars. U.S. Navy veteran Dennis Boyd says he hopes one day Coles will receive the full recognition that he deserves. I, I knew that when that he was telling the truth and that somewhere there had to be that story had to be told. Boyd's doing it himself now working on a book that will tell what Coles did during that attack. I'm hoping that while we're here, okay, that I can get, or, and he would like, somebody in the Navy to come out and say, yes, we recognize what you did that morning. Congratulations, bravo Zulu. Recognition or not, Coles knows what he did. He fought, he survived, he endured. A fact not lost as he returns to honor so many who died. How lucky can a man get? He was looking out for me. I know he was. Melody Gonzalez, KITV Island News. What an incredible story. Yeah, you know, and again, he kept it uh, to himself for much of the last 75 years, but nice to get a chance to, to tell it. Yeah, and I'm sure that's not the end of it. We're no. going to follow up and see what comes of that book and his conversations with the Navy.